What's up? This is Jacob with NextGenerationAcoustics.com and in this video we're going to let you see and hear the before and after difference of a room treated with our acoustic panels. Enjoy! Okay, so this is the room that we're going to be treating. This is a 14 foot by 17 foot room. And as you can hear, there is a lot of reverberation just naturally within this room, especially because it's a square room and it has no acoustic treatment, drywall, ceiling, and there's a thick carpet on the floor. So this is what most people will have for a standard home studio setup. Nothing special, the walls aren't angled, this isn't an acoustically designed room. So the goal is to try to make the room sound good and usable for recording. So we're going to be using this lovely U87 AI microphone to be testing the audio within the room. Now we're going to be running the microphone with no plugins, no compression, no EQ. You're going to be getting the raw natural sound of the room, okay? So we're going to be doing all of the sound testing through the U87 in a raw format. But before we do our testing, let's install the acoustical treatment. As you can see, we've already installed a panel tracking system on three out of the four walls within the room. The panel is mounted using a panel cleat through these pre-drilled holes. It mounts onto the panel tracking system using a French cleat, seen here. The French cleat interlocks into the panel tracking system, allowing the panel to be completely secure along the top side frame edge. You drill directly through the pre-drilled holes on the cleat, using inch and a half screws. And your trusted power drill. We're going to secure the cleat directly into the backside top edge of the panel frame. So you're going to drill directly into the top backside of your panel frame edge. It's ideal if you recess the panel cleat about one eighth of an inch from the top of the acoustic panel. That way it won't be seen from the front side of the panel whenever someone's looking at it. Drill in the both sides, making sure the panel cleat is completely secure to the top side frame edge on the back of your panel. And once you have it secure, just make sure it's nice and tight. And you're good to go. Now you're gonna do this for each and every panel. It takes about one minute per panel to install the panel cleaning. Don't forget to recess it one eighth of an inch on each panel. Once you have all your panel cleats installed, it's time to hang up your acoustic panels. You can evenly space each panel throughout the room. Remember, if you have a panel tracking system, you can move the panels at any time. Having the cleats pre-installed on the back side of the panel makes the installation process extremely easy. Just simply hook the panels right onto the tracking. You're able to slide the panels along the track with ease. You can always add or take away acoustic panels from the tracking to change the acoustical environment within your room. And we place a gobo in the corner and here is our after shots. Okay, so the acoustic panels have been installed in the room and you can hear a significant improvement in the acoustical properties of the room. It's a lot more clear, there's a lot less reverberation, the recordings in this room from the drums will without a doubt be better quality. So what we have in here is 12 column broadband acoustic panels. Those panels are 1 foot by 4 foot panels. Uh, we have one medium column acoustic panel that is a two foot by one foot acoustic panel over the light socket. And then in the corner we have a heavy duty portable gobo acoustic panel to act as a bass trap uh, since they do have a very good low mid and bass frequency absorption coefficient 
and because we have a metal door in that corner and it's causing some type of ring and we want to try to eliminate that when we're recording the drums. So all in all, what we have in this room is 58 square feet of acoustical treatment. So here is our vocal before and after test. Check. 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 Test. Test. Check. Check. It's important to note that we only use 24% room coverage for that room. The total square footage of that room was 238 square feet. So we used a very modest amount of treatment, the minimal amount to make a vast improvement in the acoustics of the room. The room coverage requirements will vary depending on what type of room you are trying to treat. If you'd like to see the room coverage recommendations for the specific room you're treating, go to the resource section on our website and click on the type of room that you're trying to have acoustically treated. If you have additional questions, you can fill out our free room analysis form and submit it to us and we'll get back with you with the recommended treatment requirements for your specific space. If you're interested in purchasing the acoustic panels used in this video, go to nextgenerationacoustics.com and click on products, acoustic panels. From there, you'll click on acoustic broadband column panels. Then you would like to select the 2.5 inch thickness option. We used black, but you can choose any color that you'd like. Choose if you'd rather have a standard or beveled edge and simply add to cart.